Hey, Comic Converge fans, Aaron Sagers here, and I'm at WonderCon 2019 about to talk to the Fellowship themselves. That's right, the cast of Tolkien, the upcoming movie starring Nicholas Holt about the Lord of the Rings author, J.R.R. Tolkien. Check it out. What is it about Tolkien, the character, that really kind of shocked you? I mean, he was, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of his, and he was a charitable guy. He started the Tolkien Charitable Trust, um, obviously an orphan, and had this friendship group. For you, what was it that surprised you about Tolkien? I mean, yeah, you touched upon it there, that becoming an orphan, um, the responsibility that he took on from a very young age, um, his sense of duty, and that meaning that he couldn't always follow his heart um, as he wanted to, and he had felt this kind of lack of being part of the, the, the higher class of, of culture in the UK um, and how he felt like he was always trying to find his people and his place um, but also his just his knowledge and his love of philology and, and, and that's something that where all his worlds stem from so um, to, to learn about that and to focus in reading his work again with that with that knowledge and insight that was um, that was incredible do you think Tolkien was Frodo I don't I don't imagine him as the Frodo of the group no um, I think you know obviously in his literature translates more Baron and Luthien and more the characters that himself and and Edith and their love was what that was based on more um, but I don't see him as the Frodo in the Lord of the Rings trilogy no no I'd see some habits of it, maybe Bilbo-esque. Yeah, but not Frodo, no. no. Of course, this is the first film to be released under sort of the Disney acquisition, and we have Fox uh, Searchlight. Yeah, yeah. Um, just talk a little bit about the business side of things and the excitement of, excitement, concern, whatever, of being the first one out of the gate uh, with this, this Disney partnership. And of course, you have a couple connections yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, interesting. I mean, I've, you know, Searchlight, um, they've been a wonderful company that I've really loved working with and they're very creatively brilliant. Um, it's going to be interesting how it merges with, with Disney. Obviously Disney are uh, incredibly smart and successful company. So um, I think the knowledge of two combined hopefully can lead to great things. With Tolkien, uh, I want to know a little bit about Christopher. What's, what's his character and how does he fit into Tolkien's fellowship? Uh, he is uh, one of the TCBS members and um, one of Tolkien's best friends. He, he, I, Tol uh, Tolkien and Christopher had an interesting relationship. There was a lot of friction between the two of them for a lot of the time. And I was, I was just saying, it was, it was always with love. You know, there, there was, there was a, there was a motivation that they both sort of um, needed from each other. And uh, you know, some of it was quite cutting, and some of it they, they thought each other needed to hear. And. Uh, yeah, they were always pushing each other to be better, and it was never with malice, it was always with good intent. Well, in the vast realm of Middle-earth, who, uh, who would Tom be versus who Christopher would be in sort of the, the fellowship, the Tolkien fellowship? Who would you be versus your character? Whoa, um, I think Christopher would be Legolas. Aim high, man. Hey, Legolas, you're going straight for the the badass warrior archer, Legolas. Yeah, yeah. Christopher would be him, I think. Uh, okay, how about you, Tom? Who who are you? I'd like to think I'd be Legolas as well, but I probably wouldn't. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. wouldn't we all? Yeah. I think I'm more of a Frodo. Uh, <laughs> well, that's pretty good. You're going for the the leader of the yeah, fellowship. Yeah, I would. Um, okay. All right, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. Uh, I don't know. Frodo was more of a sort of. He was a man on a mission. Based on all the mischief you were talking about, I was thinking maybe more of like, I don't know, a Merry, a Pippin, no? no? Pippin maybe, Pippin maybe. There's far too many, I can't remember them all. Um, <laughs> but Pippin, yeah, maybe. All right. That's a good shout. If we were going to send you out on the floor, un in disguise, who would you be dressed up as? SpongeBob. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what, what, one of, one of Tolkien's characters? No, no, man. It's the, the sky's the limit. Superhero, whoever. Oh, uh, I'd probably go for Green Goblin or someone like that. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I think we got your mate right here ready to, oh, ready to go. Should we no. bring him over here? What should, what, should I, what should I ask him? Paddington, get over here. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how are you? I'm Aaron. Nice to meet you, man. I'm Paddy. Nice so, to meet you. Well, okay. So first off, he was trying to give me some tips on uh, questions to give you a little bit of hell. Okay. So okay. wait, what, what, should, what should we ask him? I didn't know was, was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you ask him a question. What, what should you ask him on camera? Patrick Gibson, um, I've seen in many movies and TV programs, if the winner, 2016. Uh, 
if you could have anyone play you in a biopic about you, who would you choose? This is a hard-hitting question. I have had this question over there, and I said Tom Glen Carney because he's a better-looking version of me. <laughs> I mean, he can't act, but he's much better looking than me, and so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See, this is the problem. You asked me. So. Well, what's what's your connection to your guys' characters in Tolkien? Like, tell me a little bit about your guy yeah. and like how you two interact. Yeah, it's funny because we actually have like a bit of rivalry in the film. Robert was uh, really passionate about theatre and was sort of a little bit of the the sort of class clown of the of the group. And um, they kind of we'd like butt heads, but I think it was sort of to spur each other on in a way. Yeah. The same with same with my relationship with Tolkien. There's a lot of like pushing and nudging him and kind of winding him up a bit. But it was always to, it was always with love, like I was saying before, and uh, the artistic yeah. sort of cause. Yeah. Be the best at what you yeah. do, kind of thing. Well, it seems like uh, you guys and we talked a little bit about this. There was sort of like a fellowship off screen too, like a brotherhood. Would you agree yeah. with that? Yeah, definitely. Which Dome did a good job of instilling that in us pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a bar can kind of do a year's friendship in like yeah. a day. Um, and it's in yeah. Liverpool yeah. one night. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I asked him who he would cosplay as out on the oh, wow. the WonderCon floor. Now you've done Comic Cons before. No, right? no. This is my first. I've never done anything. Really? Like this. Not yeah. even with the. Oh no. no really? No, okay. No, no. That, okay. I'm yeah. sure. So who would you cosplay as out there? Who'd you dress up as? This is a really tough one. I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go with the Lord of the Rings one just for the you know for the day that's in it. Uh, I'd go as Gimli. It would have to be Gimli because I always used to play as Gimli. In the PS2 games, yeah, which was a formative game in my life. We we've been talking a lot about those video games yeah. today. Know, like I they're think great it's games. Our, it's our it must yeah. You guys you played were, it a lot on set. Yeah, and well, we didn't play it on set, but when I was in when I was growing up, when I was great like games. the age that they were all friends at, I was on the Lord of the Rings. All right, well, real quick before I let you go, who was your who was your uh, follow up cosplay? Probably maybe the Joker. Joker uh, villains going for the yeah, villains. Yeah, he's a all right, Comic Converge fans, thanks for geeking out with us at WonderCon and checking out all of our amazing coverage. We look forward to seeing you at the next con.